One other thing you might like to do before you actually wipe through all your design is that you've got your paper towel on hand and I, get, I suggest it to you that you actually keep a little bit of the paper towel handy because what you can do is instead of just wiping through the whole design is because this is a bit textured I can place this over the top and it acts as like a little sponge if you like and it's going to remove what's on the surface but I can also use this paper towel in part of my um, my journal or creating some other um, artworks that I might have happening so what I did is I pulled off another little print and I really like this one so that's nice and nice and simple it's not not a lot of detail to it and what I did earlier is I um, wiped over my my green that I had and before I did that I just pulled um, lay the paper towel over the top and pulled that print as well so even what, what I've got here you can work that back in just like a an experiment if you like and that's how I got this one I just worked over the top and I even scratched back into the surface so that I had a little bit of mark making happening And it's only going to be very pale because there's not much paint onto the surface. But if I want to actually keep trying to pull something from it, I'll just see how I go from this side. So I'll place it on top. Remember, the sky's the limit. You know, you, you keep going with what you're doing. You don't. There's no rules. There's no real rules to follow. It just depends on how far you want to go with creating all your patterns and different things. And I can slice that off and do something with that. I could probably even put this on the other side so I can come across, place it over there, place my thumb in my pressure little spot there, pull it off and you just start to pick up all these really subtle little marks that you might be able to use later. So because this is um, it's got a couple of layers to it, the paper towel. I can peel that off and get a transparent thing happening later. So I've kept a few of these and um, I'll just place them there and I'll show you what they look like when I've got a few together. I'll place that one there. And you can see those beautiful patterns that are coming through on the, on the paper. And that one there. And then that one had a lot more paint on it so I actually removed and pulled that print from the top as well. So you can see that there's it's never ending what you want to do with this surface that you want to do your mono printing onto.